Hi there, this video is a brief tutorial for how you can use Google Tour Builder. So the first time you come to Tour Builder, make sure that you click the sign in button in the upper right hand corner and that should allow you to sign in with your Google account. I'm actually signed in with my school Google account, but you can use this with a personal Google account as well. So what a Google Tour Builder tour is, is it's basically a series of links that are connected with information that could contain text, images, and pictures. So as an example here, I'm going I'm to go down into the little featured tours gallery area. And this is what a Google Earth tour from Tour Builder looks like. On the left side, you'll have the different places that you're going to navigate in the tour. Um, right here in the middle, you might have some information depending on which one of these icons you clicked on on the right. And then on the, on the right side, you'll actually see the, the place marks and the tour sort of linked together. So this particular one is the War for Independence, and if I were to click on Next, um, it takes me to the first location in that tour, which happens to be London in this case. And so now that <clears throat> I'm in London, what I can do is scroll through this information and, and read about um, this component of the War for Independence. And if I want to see a larger picture, I can click on the little uh, full screen icon and it makes the picture, or in some cases, video larger. And then if I want to navigate to the next place, I can either manually choose over here on the left, or I can click next and it will take me to the next place in the story. If you were showing this in front of a classroom, chances are you want this to be in full screen. So if you play in full screen, it just sort of scoots the individual place marks off the page a little bit and then makes the map a little bit larger. So what we're going to actually do, though, is we're going to create our own tour. So you can create a new tour by clicking on this red Create Tour button. But what I'm going to actually do is go ahead and go back to the beginning as if you were signing in for the very first time. So let's say we've signed in. Um, any tours you've created in the past are going to be in My Tours. But in this case, we want to create a new tour. So once again, clicking the red button. And so it'll ask you to put in a name and the author. So I'm just going to keep mine simple and just do kind of like a brief autobiography. So I might call this My Life in Google Earth. And then your name is the author. So I'm going to create my tour. And so the first thing it does is it asks me to sort of set up the introduction. And so it does, you know, tour name, author's name. Uh, you can add a photo. And so if I were to click Add Photo, I have some different options. I can upload photos, which is kind of handy because some other tools you haven't been able to do that in the past. So I can upload a photo from my computer, or I can search for images. So um, let's say, since I live in Sacramento, that I want to use Sacramento as kind of my introduction or cover image. What's nice is this is actually set up to show me results labeled for commercial reuse. So I can you know, make sure that I'm using photos and resources that are appropriate for me to use. So I'm going to choose that particular picture and hit select. And so now it's actually put it in as an introduction. And in this area, I can add some introductory text. So, you know, welcome to a tour of my life. And more likely, you'd have a couple of paragraphs here. Uh, but you can do things like bold, italic. Um, you can add a hyperlink, uh, do bullets, etc. And then you can choose your type of story, sort of how you want the lines to be connected. So if you have a very linear story, you might choose 3D or 2D. And basically the difference here is whether the line connecting the dots is above the ground or attached to the ground. So 3D, they're kind of above the ground. 2D, they're attached to the ground. If your story is not linear, you could do more of a hub um, type activity. So kind of to choose. Or if you don't want them connected, you can just disable them altogether. You can choose the path's actual color. So I mean, I'll go with blue. Actually, it's going to not show up super well on the map, so let me choose like a, a bright green. And then under advanced options, which was open, or you can close it, it gives you some, some resources or tools that you can choose about your map. So whether or not you want borders and labels on roads, 3D buildings, etc. So once you have that set up, the very first thing that you want to do is you want to add a location. So since this is a tour of my life, I might start in my birth city. So I was born in Reno, Nevada. So I'm going to fly into Reno, Nevada. And so once it's actually kind of flown me in a little bit, <clears throat> what I can do is I can click Add to Tour. And right now, the view that I have is not that exciting. Um, so often what you want to do in Google Earth is zoom in using the Zoom tool. And then maybe kind of you know scoot the world over a little bit and zoom down a little bit further. And what <clears throat> I'm actually looking for here is for downtown Reno because there's actually some three-dimensional buildings there. And I have three... 3D buildings turned on, so that might be kind of interesting to look at. So I'm just kind of zooming in. 
Let me kind of pull the world up here. And there's actually, if I hover over here on the left, there's some navigation tools. This first one, think of it being like your head. And so you can look up, and so that it actually sort of like pans up. Um, you also can sort of spin a little bit using this tool. So let's say this is how I want the view to be set. I'm going to then lock this view. And so now when you fly here, that's what this is going to look like. So it, for the name, automatically just gave it Reno. But I might want to call this birthplace. Reno, Nevada. And then I can add photos or videos, very similar to the introduction, in that I can add photos that are already part of my you know, Picasso or Google Plus account. I can upload photos, I can upload videos, or I can search for images. So I might just want to search for images. And let's say this is the picture I want to use. I could select now that picture is in there. And I can actually have up to 25 pictures or videos here. So if I want to add another picture, I can click on the plus sign. It takes me back to the very same menu. And I mentioned pictures or videos. So for place marks, you can also add videos. So I could just search YouTube and then type in something that I'm searching for and add it as a video. Now I'm just going to hit cancel. And I can add dates and times. So you know maybe I lived here from March of 1977 to I don't know, August of 1982 or something like that. You kind of whatever's going to work for you. And then similar to the introduction, you can play, put some text here. And you can change the icon. So I can change to whatever icon that I want. And then the only advanced options here are whether or not historical imagery is enabled. And what this will do is as the person flies into this location, they can use this little slider bar to like go back in time and see what that area used to look like, which is kind of a, a cool tool depending on what you're trying to show. So basically in terms of creating your story, you just can you just keep doing that process. So you add the next location, and it's you know, maybe my next location is Sacramento. It flies me into Sacramento. I do the same things in terms of um, clicking add to tour and then zooming in and using these navigation tools to, to set the view that I want. And notice it's creating this line that's actually linking the locations together. So we're going to pretend for a second that I'm all done. So I'm just going to hit done editing up here. And you know, if you're just playing this for yourself, um, you could go back to the introduction and click play in full screen and see kind of how it looks. But chances are, once your project is done, you're going to want to share it somehow. So if you click on the blue share button, th this works very similar to a Google Doc in the sense that it's, it's defaulted to private only to you. You can share it with specific people, or what you can do is you can set it you know, to anyone with the link um, can view it. This is not set up so that you can collaborate on more than one tour. So even if I were to add someone's address in here, my only choice is really just to give them viewing rights. So when I'm done, I can uh, hit share and save. Oops, I didn't put an actual address in here. I just hit cancel and now hit done. And so now this particular resource is, is actually something that is set for anyone with the link to be able to view. So all I would need to do is basically copy and paste and send them that link. All right, so just a brief tour for using Google Tour Builder. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know.